The first Doughboy season in decades goes out with a bang. Doughboy football filled the radio waves in a special worldwide broadcast to sports fans around the globe. Nicole Randall has the story. The Doughboy season comes to an end, but not without a going away present in the form of radio celebrity Ron Barr, who came out to help Fort Benning finish the season right. And the ball off to the running back. They brought back the tradition, and that's really what's important, and it's, uh, we're here to do the broadcast. Ron's radio show can take Doughboy football around the world, and with the massive audience he has, people everywhere will be Doughboy fans. <laughs> It kind of continues the tradition for me. It's a, I grew up in a military family, and so I know what the military is about. And being able to share the time and spend some time and talk sports and have my friends who are athletes and coaches come and visit, as we did uh, back in May, you know, that's kind of what it's all about for me. His relationship with Fort Benning's commanding general has brought him to Georgia twice this year. Ron Barr is a, uh, a, a tremendous sports broadcaster and a great military supporter. And I uh, first met him over in Iraq uh, in 2005. He did the first sports talk show uh, from a combat zone. It's really special he's here tonight, uh, the eve of Veterans Day, and recognizing the veterans and, and uh, sending the uh, Doughboy game out to, I guess, 25 million listeners on the radio. Pretty neat. Barr's military support comes from a family history of service, and his feelings toward the troops reflect that. Thank you. I'm proud of what you do. I'm honored to be here and give back to any degree that I can. And the commitment that you have made to not only this country, but to yourself and to the United States Army and to the military is one that goes beyond words of appreciation. Ron Barr made it a perfect ending to a great Doughboy season, and the new traditions that have been started will carry on into history along with the famed coaches, players, and nostalgia it deserves. Win on three! One, two, three, win! Nicole Randall, Fort Benning TV.